Joining me right now, Darlene Love, considered Houston her goddaughter. She, of course, yes, is hi, in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well, I know that you must be devastated, and a lot of people attacking Whitney Houston and the morning after claiming her own lifestyle is the cause of death. I disagree with that, Miss Love. I, I wonder about all the people surrounding her and using her and why she ended up underwater, Darlene Love. I, you know what? I can't really talk about that. I have no idea. And the more I hear about it, the deeper the wounds go into me. You know, it's hard for me to fathom it. Uh, I, I, I don't know that part of it, and, and I can't speak on it because it's all about love. And me and Sissy, had, her mother had a relationship that was about love, friendship, and prayer. And after your children get a certain age, they're responsible for their self. You can only do so much. And Sissy and I, we just prayed from afar for our children, for my children and her children. It was an off and on thing. She'd call me and she'd say, I'm praying for your kids, and I say, and I'm praying for yours too. That's the only strength we had to keep us when all this was going on, because your children make choices, and there's nothing we can do to help them. And the people, if they decide to keep people, keep people around them that is enabling them, there's nothing we can do about it. They have to make their own choices. You know, Miss Love, Bobby Brown has made the statement that Whitney Houston is the one they got him involved in drugs. And I just find that very hard to believe, Miss Love, very hard to believe. Well, I find it hard to believe, too, uh, Nancy, and I, can, I have no idea about, you know, what went on in their house, what, what went on in their, uh, you know, their marriage. I have no idea who was the boss, who did what. Well, I know this. She was on the top of the world with a beautiful voice and her life together when she married Bobby Brown. I mean, I, I'm on the outside looking in, but I know that much. Could, could you just tell us what so many people don't know about the Whitney that we don't see on this crazy reality show, being Bobby Brown and in all the videos and all the talk about drugs and alcohol? Who was the, the real Whitney that you love so dearly? The real, the, real, the real Whitney Houston that I love and I always will love, I met her when she was eight years old. And she was the sweetest little angel you ever wanted to see. I was working for Dionne Warwick. It was me, Sissy Houston, and Dee Dee, her sister. And I was pregnant at the time. And so whenever we'd work in the New York area, I would stay at Sissy's house. And Nippy Whitney would ask me, well, where are you staying? And I said, I'm staying here. She, she said, okay, Auntie, you can sleep in my bed. So she gave me her bed, and that's how I became her, not so much I became her godmother. She actually became my goddaughter because she took such good care of me. She would run to the store and get fruit for me, uh, whatever I want. And she couldn't do enough to take care of me. She was such a positive person. Her, her smile was, that, you know, just she would fill up a room. She was so full of joy. So full of life, so full of love. So all this that's going on now and even all the trouble that she was having, it, uh, we always had to try to find some peace in it for ourselves. If we couldn't help her, we had to find peace in everything that was going on ourselves. She was such a loving, giving Winnie. spirit, a light that has been put out. And it's just really too bad. It had to be put out this way.